Hello everyone, Ostriotti here, and welcome back to Hotoful Boyfriend. In the last episode, we spent Christmas Eve with Nageki, and it seems like there's a deeper reason for why he never leaves the library and why nobody seems to notice him. Well, let's finish his route and find out. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's Legumentines. I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like. But apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans? Yes. Is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sunbirdie. Almost empty as always. And unsurprisingly, the heating doesn't work well here, so the winter cold will stick around well through February. The pervading chill has earned the library the dubious honor of being one of the school's least popular places in winter. The few students here are huddled around the heater, so Nageki should be... There you are, Nageki! Sitting in a frigid corner, far from the meager effects of the heater, as expected. Please be quiet in the library. Oh, can you somehow forgive my dreadful sin? Brr, it's cold here. Are you okay, Nageki? I am fine. Don't mind me, Miss Trayote. Feel free to go sit by the heater if you're cold. Nope, I'm fine. My house doesn't have a heater at all. Anyway, I have something to give you. It's legumentines, you know. Here, foxtail millet. For me? Yep, you're supposed to give beans to the most important bird in your life today. Do you want them? Yes, thank you. He looks happier than usual, or is it my imagination? I often ate these when I was younger. This brings back memories. Thank you, Miss Trayote. You're welcome, Nageki. Ugh, it's cold. Legumentines is over, and now I just want spring to come already. Oh, I'm out of firewood. What should I do? Climbing down to gather more right now would be dangerous. Well, I can last one night in the cold. Good night. Hey, Ost. Are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? You look kinda sick. Your skin's all pale. I'm fine. Maybe it's your imagination. Hmm. Well, okay. You're always healthy, after all. That's right. I'm the toughest guy in the town. Achoo! You're not a guy, Ost. Oh, I need to go to the library today. See you, Ryota. <sighs> See you. Last night was awfully cold, but I don't feel sick or anything. Probably just Ryota worrying about everything as usual. <coughs> Nageki? What is it? Um, I'm returning books that have wandered away from home to their loving families and... Wandered away from home? Ah, misshelved books. Right. I'm almost done, but where do you think this one goes? I flipped through it, but I can't tell if it's fiction or psychology or science or what. It should have a genre mark. Genre mark? Isn't there a label near the bottom of the back cover? Oh, yes, there is. But it's all numbers. You work here, and you don't remember the classifications? How have you been filing them up until now? 
Woman's intuition. <coughs> he stares at me with eyes like scornful daggers. Stop it! You'll leave a hole! Give it to me. This is... Natural science. It starts with four, so it's physics. The second number is a five, so... Are you listening? Yes, yes. The second number is a five, so this is a book on seismology. So it should go... <gasps> Miss... Treyote? What's wrong, Miss Treyote? Hey, say something. Some birdie. Some birdie! How can I get someone else's attention? Ugh. I feel lousy. Where am I? I feel like I've... The infirmary? Ost! You're awake! How do you feel? Are you alright? Do you remember who I am? Can I get you anything? Would you like me to peel you an apple? Wait, Ryota. I can't answer all that at once. Oh, sorry. Why am I here of all places? You wound me. Doctor! You collapsed and Kawara brought you here. Any other questions? Collapsed? I do feel really heavy. I was fine just a minute ago. A sudden fever and inflammation of the upper respiratory tract. A cold and nothing more. Though the violent episode leaves me somewhat puzzled. The violent episode? You don't remember? You kicked down the library door! I remember no such thing. I heard the glass smashing as I was heading home, and when I went to look, I found you collapsed in the doorway. There was no one else there, so I figured it was you who... I made that much of a mess while I was out cold? Do you think you might have some deep-seated desire to indulge in violent acts? Don't make me sound like some sort of psychopath. <coughs> you have to rest, Aust. I'll sit with you. Doctor, I think you're making her worse by hanging around like that, so please go back to whatever you were doing. My, I am unpopular. Is that any way to speak to a member of the faculty? But very well. Everything inside my head feels fuzzy. I'm causing trouble for Ryota. I'm probably going to have to pay for the library door, too. The library... Where'd Nageki go? Natural sciences start with four, and, um, I wonder if he put it back on the right shelf. Lots of requested books are going to come in today. I'll have to work through lunch. Ah, sorting all of these takes forever. I think I just have the encyclopedias to do before I'm done. Huh? There's a note on the help desk counter. Um, Miss Treyote. Be here after all the other students have left. Nageki Fujishiro. It reads like a challenge to a samurai duel. How fitting. I think this is the first time he's approached me. I wonder what it's all about. Nageki, are you here? Nageki? Over here. Nageki! <sighs> Hello, Miss Treyote. <gasps> You startled me. How long have you been standing there? From the very beginning. So what did you need? I want to... talk with you, Miss Treyote. Talk with me? Continue our conversation. We were talking about... bullying, I think. Okay. I'm all ears, Nageki. I'm... not sure where to start. I've noticed a lot since we last spoke together. Miss Treyote? Hmm? Let's go outside. What? But he hates going outside. Come on. He stands up and walks over to the door. I follow, agitated. You first. Okay. 
Why does he want to go out all of a sudden? I should be happy, but... Huh? What's wrong? You said you wanted to come out here. He stands in the doorway, pushing against open air. What are you doing? Mine? Watch. He walks back a little ways into the library, and then runs forward, crashing into the air. Nageki, what? Thud. Huh? He bounces off the invisible wall and falls back into the library. That's too good to be a mime act. As I thought, I can't leave. What? I can't leave this room. I wake up in this library. After a while, I lose consciousness and wake up here again. And so it repeats. I said I'd come to understand the truth by talking to you, Miss Treyote. You've probably noticed, too, why no one else talks to me. That's because... They can't see you. I'm the only one who can see you? Probably. I forgot why I was here. How I came to be stuck in this place. I've been alone here for years, with no one to talk to. For years? My sense of time has broken. I cannot feel or remember its passage. I've seen at least five school festivals go by. But then you came and talked to me. I had had no partner but myself for so long, and suddenly you wouldn't leave me alone. As I talked to you, I finally remembered why I can't leave. Hmm? Huh? I killed myself in this room. And so here I stay. My clock broke here, its hands turning meaninglessly, each day the same as the last, alone, forever. No one is bullying me or ignoring me. I'm not here to begin with. I have no regrets. It was my choice to end my life here, after all. But. I think I will miss you, Miss Treyote. If I wasn't like this, I would... I would have liked to talk to you more, for longer. Nigeki. I wrap my arms around him. I can feel him, softly. But he's cold. At first, sitting here alone was painful. But I grew numb over time. I ceased to feel pain. That feeling that I thought I had lost came back because of you. I'll talk to you enough to make up for everyone else, Nageki. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave. No. <laughs> Why not? As I talked to you, I changed. I didn't notice until just recently. When you told me about this school, I was probably trying to take back the time I was never able to spend here. I never asked you to, but you relentlessly told me everything that was going on here. I already feel like I've spent a full year at this school, and now it's over. I think the clock's hands are going to stop soon. Nageki! His head is right next to mine, but his voice sounds muffled and distant. When I look down, his feet are already disappearing. Nageki, wait! We've, we've never talked like this before! I don't want this to be the last time! Don't cry, Miss Treyote. I'm already long gone. There's no one here to mourn. But... There's just one thing I need to tell you before I go. The thing that I noticed. The secret that stopped my clock. N no No, don't say it, Nageki, I... As I filled up, I grew closer to disappearing. 
You're the one who made me disappear, Miss Triodi. I can't stop it now. But I still have so many things to tell you. You've already given me more than enough. I'm satisfied. The secret. Thank you. I love you. And with that, we have finished Nageki's route. This was the first... No, this was the second route I played. First route was Okosan's. This one hit me in the feels pretty hard first playthrough. And I know this is one of the routes that tends to give people one-way tickets on the feels train. Near everybody I've shown this to has teared up or full-on cried. And <laughs> oh, just a warning for those of you who are new to the game, it's going to get worse. This was just the tip of the iceberg. So, for those of you watching, I hope you stick around for the rest of the game. It's going to be a wild ride. Thanks for joining me. See you later. Austreyote out.